still in chapter one. This is a question from units. Kind of knowing which is scalar, which is vector. Power produced by a force moving an object is given by this equation shown. Power equals to work time, force, displacement time. Which quantities are scalars and which are vectors? So they want you to sort out all these quantities into scales and vectors. Now let's take a look at each of them. Displacement, also known as S with a vector head on top. This is actually a vector. So this is vector. Wrong place. Time is a scalar. Scalars, what does it mean? Uh? Scalars has only magnitude, a number. But vectors has direction. Displacement to the left at 21 degrees. Displacement to the right. All different things. So time time's a scalar. That's fine. Mm, let's go on to the bottom. Power. Is it a scalar? Yes, it is a scalar. It's just power. It's not power here and power there. Work is a scalar. Power, scalar. Force, not a scalar. Force in this direction. That's why we draw arrows. Force here. Force there. Oh, it all matters. Work, scalar. Time, scalar. Okay. So the thing that is out is A and C already. Now let's look at vectors. Force is a vector. Displacement is a vector. Force is a vector. Displacement is a vector. Work is not. Power is not. Displacement to the east? Yes, correct. So the answer that is best is B for this case. Quick bonus. Some of you say work done is force times displacement based on this equation. You say, miss, isn't force a vector times displacement also a vector? Then shouldn't work also be a vector? Well, hold on a second. The thing we don't tell you at A-levels is force vector, displacement vector, we actually do what we call a dot product. And so, these two, it's possible to have these two as a vector, but this one is a scalar because of this beautiful dot product. Ah, so not necessary. If you multiply two vectors, you get a scalar because we don't know the details. Okay, that's the end of chapter three. Next video.